So we know that Bad Girl was canceled, right? Well, the director of Bad Girl wanted to go to the archives and at least get the footage of the Bad Girl that they spent their time working on, right? Only to find out that it has been deleted. What's up? This is Method Man right here. Yes, I have a mask on because I care. Welcome to Jody's Corner. Welcome to Jody's Corner. I'm Jody Joe. What's happening? So, Bad Girl is a film that was supposed to come out on HBO Max, cost them $90 million, and the new management at HBO scrapped the movie. Just completely said, get this garbage out of here. It tested poorly. It was going to save them a lot of money. There was just so many reasons to cancel the Bad Girl. But the director, Bilal Fala, who is notable, let me show you a picture of him. Here they are. I think they're brothers, but here's the director here. I think he did Ms. Marvel, had some work with Ms. Marvel. He's known for Bad Boys for Life. These two were the directors of Bad Boys for Life. Put them on the map. A lot of people signed them to multi-year movie deals and stuff like that. And this is the director that did Bad Girl. And this guy here, after finding out that his movie has been canceled, he went to the archives to try to salvage some of the footage. Actually, to just take a copy of the film for himself. So there's this server that they use now. Not no floppy disk and stuff like that. He accessed the server and found out that everything has been deleted from the server. A lot of people are probably like, that's effed up, man. That's wrong. But here, I got... Let me let me just give you his what is it he said. He says, I went on the server and everything was gone. We were like, freaking shit. We didn't even keep the scenes with Batman in it. They have nothing to go on. A lot of people might think that that's messed up, but I don't think so at all. I think that is just shows that Warner Brothers Discovery is smart. They've learned from their mistakes. Case in point, Zack Snyder. Do you remember this image here? An image that will live in infamy. He put out this thing on his Vero platform. Is it real? Does it exist? Of course it does. This was the first blatant lie that Snyder used to his fan base to incite them to be toxic, to incite them into believing that there was a Snyder cut. He used film reels and canisters with nothing in them, an uncut movie. We clearly know that the film that he took was digital on a memory card. We know he took it from a memory card. The cut, the raw footage existed on a memory card, but yet he showed these film canisters as if he actually had the film canisters from the set of Justice League Warner Brothers. This was only later to be discovered that it was nothing but a prop in his Netflix zombie movie that sucked. This is the first blatant lie that nobody seems to try to hold him accountable for, by the way. That is the picture that started most of the, oh my God, it really does exist. Release the Snyder Cut. Toxic movement went across the planet. <laughs> Warner Brothers employees had death threats on them. I had death threats on me. People were fired. People had investigations. There's a whole lot of nastiness that came from this image. This image here really started a lot of controversy. Because what do we know? What does Zack Snyder do after he was fired from Justice League? He sent his assistant to Warner Brothers. This is what he did. He sent his assistant into Warner Brothers under the guise of being there for something else. And he went and he stole the raw footage of the Snyder cut and extracted it and bring it to Snyder. That's how he got the footage of his film. Warner Brothers was upset when they found out that he did that. They demanded that he return the property. Zach said no. Warner Brothers was like, man, you know what? I'm not even going to deal with y'all. I'm not, I'm keep the freaking cut. That was a big mistake because Look what happened. That whole entire three-year movement of some good fans wanted good things and a whole lot of toxicity. And the reason why, my guy, the sole reason why you went on that server and you found that there was no movie there was because they were not about to let you potentially turn into the next Zack Snyder release the Batgirl cut movie. They didn't want that. They don't want none of them problems. They weren't going to even let that be a possibility. Delete that from the server so he ain't going to say, oh, yeah, I got the footage. 
you might have wanted it for yourself, but who's to know if you get disgruntled in the next month or two? Yeah, I got the whole entire film right here, man. I'm just waiting on Brother Brothers to release it. He already said in the article that he wants to, it to, he still wants it to be released one day. Oh, I want them to release it. I want them to release it. Nah, bro, chill. You were for Warner Brothers. They asked it, bro. You still got paid. That's exactly why you the, that movie was deleted from the server because they don't want to repeat the same mistakes that they did with Snyder. And this is just absolutely smart, in my opinion. It just goes to show me that Zaslav and company know what they're doing. They're covering all their bases, crossing those T's, dotting those I's. That's all it means to me. So shout out to you guys so very much. Thank you guys so very much for being here. I know I haven't uploaded in a couple of days because I'm working hard in the studio. Just work, 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 work. That's basically what's going on. So comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think. The merch is down below. Common sense ain't common. Shout out to you guys so very much. I'm Jody Joe, and I'm out. Deuces.